G'day everyone. I already printed this week's trending print before I knew it was going to be top of the list. That's how useful it is. First try I had a bit of a disaster, but we'll get to that. Here's the reason I'd already printed one out. I wanted to try to clean up this charging space everyone in the house uses. I printed one and another and I think I have a problem. While we watch that print, let me take a few seconds to tell you about this video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay have services you probably already know, like PCB prototyping, CNC, but did you know that they can 3D print in ways you'd be hard pressed to do at home? Look at the options of materials you have. Aluminium, stainless steel, even titanium. You get a full breakdown of the material and all of its properties. So check out PCBWay.com and watch out for some upcoming projects on this channel where we'll use their services. Well, let's get back to the print. So a couple of things to note about this print. It's a good idea to know your tolerances and if you haven't printed a tolerance test, I've got a link to one in the description below and there's a quick tip at the end of this video on a setting that you can play with Impressa Slicer and Cura to help with the tolerance of your prints. Basically, if you've got it right, the hinge should move freely, the spinner should spin around easily. The green and blue filament I used uh, had, was a little old. They need a little snap to get them spinning and they weren't as smooth as the orange ones were, which was a much nicer filament. Links to all the filaments I've used as always is in the description below. So to use it, just find the middle of the cable, put it in, close it up and spin it clockwise. A couple of my cables were pretty stiff, so there's a little bit of a spring action happening when you wind it up, but I found the longer it's in there, the easier it is. So I've got my charging all organized and where everyone used to leave the cables dangling, um, they seem to be happy to wind these back up. Maybe it's just a novelty, so we'll have to see over time. So if you print out a tolerance test like this one, you can see how well your printer can cope with moving parts or parts that fit inside one another. You can improve this in Prusa Slicer by changing the XY size compensation and Cura has something similar with slicing tolerance. My recommendation is only do very small adjustments. It can mess with the dimensions. So if you need things super accurate, you need to be careful. I didn't adjust this setting on my first attempt and I ended up with this disaster. The hinge snapped badly, but I used a trick for prints that aren't going to be presentation quality and I melted it back together. It's super ugly, but that one sits inside the charging box so no one will see it. With this print, once you put the cable in, it's not likely you're going to be changing it a lot anyway. So conclusion is pretty clear this week. Uh, I was already using this one and I'll be printing more I'm sure. I've got them in my charging area now, I've got them on my desk with my microphone, I'll probably print some for the caravan. Okay, if you've got this far in the video, 90% of you, according to the stats, aren't subscribed. Everyone says it all the time, but it really does help the channel. And you're more likely to see new videos in your feed as they come out. So not just mine, but any small channels that you like, think about subscribing. Don't forget to check out our new sponsor and the first for the channel, PCBWay. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.